Rage 2 has you ripping and tearing through bandits, mutants, and all sorts of other bad dudes with beefy weapons and superpowers in a post-apocalyptic world. But you may miss on some important aspects, like the best abilities to upgrade, the easiest way to take down tougher enemies, and how to find the good stuff. So here are 10 tips to get you raging in peak form for Rage 2. Security scanning complete. Welcome to ARC 403A. Arcs are these pods scattered across Rage 2's wasteland, and they grant you new nano trade abilities and weapons, both of which are key to the best part of the game, combat. You'll get four arcs marked on your map at the outset, but you'll have to uncover the locations of the rest on your own. You can see their locations on this map, so pause if you need to. Slam is the most effective and satisfying nanotrite in the game. At first, it works as a simple ground pound that does area of effect damage and splatters enemies you land on for a direct hit. But as you upgrade it, Slam can pull enemies towards the center of your target area and do even more damage. This is one of the best ways to eliminate a crowd. Straight up, Rage 2 has one of the best shotguns in video games. Its impactful feel is matched by the amount of havoc it wreaks on your enemies, and although it's not the most flashy gun in your arsenal, it's certainly the most functional. Upgrading your shotgun will help you tear through armored foes more efficiently and reload much, much faster. The vehicle controls and the twisty roads of the wasteland make getting around a bit of a pain. So once you're able to spawn in the Icarus Gyrocopter in the vehicles menu, there's no looking back. It's the most efficient way to get places, especially when you're trying to knock out side quests or want to get across the map fast. Plus you get nice scenic views of the larger landscape, which is nice. Remembering to dash will save you in many situations, especially in fights against huge mutants that can rush you quickly, or sentries with devastating laser beams. You only start with a single dash on a short cooldown, but you can upgrade it to have a faster recovery time and be able to dash twice at a time. Cyber Crushers are one of the few boss-type enemies in Rage 2, and it takes a bit more than just a bunch of bullets to take them down. The best approach is to launch a well-placed rocket to their chest to get them to expose their Feltrite tanks, then use your assault rifle to destroy those tanks. After they're all destroyed, a few more rockets or a shotgun shell barrage will finish them off easily. Using focus doesn't just enable you to use your nanotrite abilities. Holding the focus button lets you see enemies through walls, which helps you plan your initial attack. This is also handy for trying to find the last few pesky bandits to clear out a camp or to find those gas tanks you may have missed at a pit stop side mission. Say you're trying to do a side quest, but can't find the switch to reveal the last explosive barrels at a pit stop, or the valves to lift up gates at a roadblock. Just keep your eyes peeled for objects splattered in neon pink paint, since it usually indicates important objects in the world. This one's for the completionists out there. There are project upgrades that will help you find arc chests, storage containers, and data pads by giving you a UI element that indicates how close you are to them. Since each side quest isn't truly complete until you've found all of these in the corresponding area, this project perk will help ease the tedium of searching for them. Now this might be a cheap trick, but tougher authority sentries can be knocked out easily once you unlock the Xerxes 3 heavy tank. Sentries retract to a defensive mode when you enter the tank, but since it takes them a few seconds to do that, you have a window to hit them with a few shots. Simply pop in and out of the tank to catch them when they're vulnerable, while also avoiding their attacks altogether. So those are a few of our basic tips to get you raging in Rage 2. If you have any yourself, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.